Hello everyone, welcome to this demo on deploying generative AI chat assistant using Amazon Q. My name is Vamsi Peter. I'm a solutions architect at AWS. Let's start with an architecture overview. I'm going to upload a couple of documents to Amazon S3, which will be used as a data source for Amazon Kendra. Kendra is an enterprise search service powered by machine learning. Unlike keyword search, Kendra takes context into consideration to connect the dots and retrieve, return most relevant data points and documents for a query. I'll use that as a data retriever for Amazon Q, which is a generative AI powered chat assistant that can be deployed within your organization. Further, I will deploy the web application using IAM Identity Center as an identity provider. With that, let's switch to Management Console. Over here, search for S3. And create an S3 bucket. To speed up the demo, I've already created a bucket and uploaded a couple of documents. These are publicly available exam guides for networking specialty and security specialty certifications. I'll be asking questions related to these documents once the application is deployed. Then search for Kendra. and create an index within Kendra. Let's give it a name. And an optional description. Kendra publishes logs to Amazon CloudWatch. For that, we'll need an IAM role Either you can use an existing role or select to create a new role. Let's give it a name again. Optionally, you can turn on encryption, which uses a KMS managed encryption key. I'll skip that for now. In this page, uh, you can optionally do an advanced setup for using uh, user tokens or user groups for accessing uh, the documents within uh, within the index. I'll skip this for now and keep it simple. You have a couple of options to select from, either a developer edition or enterprise edition. For production workloads, enterprise edition is recommended. I'll use developer edition for the demo. Review the details and click Create. This is going to take a while to prepare the index. I'm going to pause the recording and come back when it's ready. Well, it took around 20 minutes for me. Now let's go ahead and add data sources. There are plenty of options available for data sources please feel free to explore them on your own. I'm going to use Amazon S3 connector for this demo. Let's give it a name. Kendra S3 data source. I click next. Kendra service needs an IAM role to access the data from the S3 bucket. So let's choose to create a new role. I'm going to skip configuring a VPC for this demo. Now let's select the bucket that we want to be used as a source in this case. Click Browse S3. Search for Kendra. I want to use this bucket as a source. Now you can set a max file size limit 
uh, while crawling and indexing the data from an S3 bucket, it's useful in case you have if you have large uh, file size. For the sync mode, either we can have a full sync always or just new modified or deleted content. I'll keep it as a full sync for now. You can also select a, a sync frequency. I'll choose run on demand since it's a demo, but you can select any of these other options available. Click next. Uh, now I'm not gonna go deep into field uh, mappings for the demo. Uh, it's kind of out of scope for this video, but feel free to explore these options at your own pace. Let's click next. Now one final look at all the details, then click add data source. When it's created, you'll see an option to sync now. Let's click on that. Uh, it's a two-step process where first it crawls all the data that's available in the data source and then indexes that into Kendra. It's going to take a while depending on the size of the data that's available. So I'm going to pause the recording here and come back when it's ready. All right, the data sync is now complete. We can proceed to our next step of creating an Amazon Q application. For that, search for Amazon Q. You'll be presented a landing page where the benefits and use cases of Amazon Q is shown clearly. While there are many other use cases, I'm going to specifically focus on creating a, a chat experience using Amazon Q in this demo. Let's get started. Click on create an application. We'll give it a name. Additionally, it, it requires us IAM role for accessing CloudWatch. We'll let it create a new service role for us. And optionally, you can enable encryption as well. Click create. You will be asked to select a retriever. We can either use a native retriever and use uh, available data sources. S3 being one of them can be used. But for now, I'm going to use an existing Kendra retriever. Let's select our index, which was created in the previous steps. And we'll, again, let it create a new service role to access Kendra. Click Finish. Once the application is created successfully, we can select that and click on Preview Web Experience. Here, you can make sure everything is working properly, interact with the assistant, ask questions and make sure everything is good to go before we deploy the actual experience. I'm I'm going to keep the title, subtitle, and welcome message as it is, but feel free to update as per your convenience. You can also optionally enable to display sample prompts, which might help to get started. Uh, I can, oh, I'm going to skip it here. All right. So with that, uh, we are ready to go. We have our assistant and I'm going to ask some sample questions from the documents which I've uploaded. For example, what services are covered in security speciality? Let's see what comes back. So you can clearly see that it is referencing the data from the sources that are uploaded into the bucket and giving you a concise and a general answer uh, based off of the data uh, that it finds. Let's try another question.
Okay, I think this validates our data uh, for networking specialty exam. There are it's a three-hour long exam, so we can validate everything compared to the uh, documents that are available. So we we now have a working copy and it is ready to be deployed for a wide audience. For that, let's exit from here. Click on applications and we'll get back to the landing page. Select the application again. Click on deploy web experience. It is required to configure an identity provider to deploy web experience. While you can use your own identity provider, I'm going to use AWS IAM Identity Center in this demo. Make a note of these two details here. We'll be using them soon. Now search for Identity Center. I've configured IAM Identity Center before and added a user. Observe the primary information closely. We'll be using these attributes while uh, setting up the IDP for our web experience. I'm going to use the primary email to identify this user. With that, let's click on applications. Add application. And select, I have an application I want to set up. Out of both options, uh, OAuth 2.0 or SAML 2.0, select SAML 2.0. Now you can optionally change the name. Uh, I'm going to keep it same. Now over here, you have an option to download the metadata file. Let's download that. We'll leave everything else as it is, but the important thing is to provide these two fields. So we'll come back to our Amazon Q console, copy those details. Let's go back to the identity center. Paste the service URL. Similarly, copy audience URI. Into the respective fields. Click submit. And you'll be presented a landing page. Our next step is to assign users to this application. Click on assign users and groups. I have only one application user for now. I'll assign that. Our next step is to edit attribute mappings. Click on actions and edit attribute mappings. We will map subject user attribute in the application to user email attribute and the identity center. We need to do another step here. Click on add new attribute mapping and type primary email. This is the same attribute that is available in the details of uh, individual user. We'll, um, we will map that with user email field. Save changes and uh, let's make sure this is all good to go. That's primary email spelled properly. Save changes. I'll come back to the users. Click on the user name and you can see this is same as what uh, we have configured in the application. Let's switch back to Amazon Q console. Over here, we need to upload the metadata file that was downloaded previously. And finally, we need to give uh, email attribute that was configured in the identity provider. You can leave the user group attribute uh, empty for now. With that, everything should be good to go let's go ahead and deploy
This is going to take a few seconds. Once it is deployed successfully, you can click on Deployed URL. There you go. We now have our Amazon Q Chat Assistant deployed and ready to be used. Now, optionally, you may be presented with a sign-in page. Uh, in this case, I'm already signed into the single sign-on that's at Entity Center. Uh, but if not, you'll have to first log in and then you'll be seeing this production uh, deployed web experience. Let's go ahead and ask a question to make sure everything is still working fine. Cool, there is our answer from our data sources. All right, I think with that, we now have uh, successfully deployed generative AI chat assistant using Amazon Q. Thank you for watching the video. Happy building on AWS.